For the 2023 season, I just won gold place in the AAA Hobbies Mini Four Wheel Drive Races and the Overall Cup Trophy for overall most points in box stock and team class. This season, everyone upped their game. A lot of them joined the Deep Pit Stop crew and they learned special techniques to try to improve all of their cars. And that's why I had to like just up my game as well. So remember everybody, when you are racing, always bring your A game. You want to try to bring your best cars out and challenge the best at their game. There's going to be a pretty cool thing happening. It didn't happen this season, unfortunately, but in preparation for the next season, there are going to be tutorial videos and live in-person tutorials that will teach young racers, beginning racers, how to build a proper box stock car and a proper tune class car. So be on the lookout for them at AAA Hobbies in Magnolia, New Jersey. Pretty cool. That's going to come up soon. So yeah. So cool. Top points 2023. Yay. <laughs> so most of my racing was done with Iron Man and Eagle for tune class. And I basically raced a number of different cars in box stock, including Koreana, this Korean mock frame, as well as Scorpion, my Brocken Gigant, as well as on the final race, yes, Shiva. Those were the ones that I raced this season, and they all fared pretty well. So as you see here, I'm basically an FMA girl. So yeah, I like that front heavy engine because that really helps over slopes, jumps, things like that. Uh, the lane changer also. Well, the lane changer might be a little challenging for some FMA cars. There's no doubt about that. So you have to figure out ways of getting the nose to pitch down after it goes up on, across the lane changer. And the big problem is when these rollers start not doing the job that they're supposed to do, then the car can corkscrew. And you have to figure out a way to fix that, right? So in my previous video for this month's AAA Hobbies races, you'll learn how to do that, how to get these rollers properly balanced so that you won't corkscrew. So that involves a lot more than just replacing the chassis. There's a lot of other things to consider as well. So do check out that video. It's a pretty good video. Do check out all of my videos. If, you, if you've already watched them, re-watch them because there's a lot of valuable information in each and every one of my videos. A lot of people have contacted me from far off places, even Philippines racers. They contacted me and they said, thank you so much for your information, your knowledge. Pretty darn cool, yeah. And there were even racers on the West Coast who thanked me and said, yes, your videos are awesome. They have helped me tremendously and that's what I'm here for. I'm here for all of you, all of you. I want you all to be better racers because not only does that improve your game, it also improves my game so that I can even elevate myself further and try to learn more things, more techniques, more little subtleties about each of these cars so that we both can grow together in this hobby. And you know what? Once we get some good American racers on board for the Japan Cup, look out because it's going to be really, really challenging. So yeah, pretty darn cool. Yeah. So last season, the 2022 season, I was bronze place this year got up to gold in box stock and overall top points. So cool. Yeah. So yeah, if you like this video, everybody, please slam the like button, subscribe to my channel. You'll see more videos just like this one. Until next time, everybody. See you. Bye.